Okay, uh, let's do the combat orders phase. Uh, combat orders is what you might know as combat movement in in other games. So I'm going to... Again, I'm not playing, trying to play the perfect game here. I'm trying to demonstrate different concepts in the game. So I'm going to make, I'm not making all the moves I would make if I was actually playing this game, but uh, just enough to give you some, some flavor. So here we got two Russian uh, nuclear attack subs. So one of the cool things they can do is they can launch cruise missile attacks and they can do that one lander sea zone away and they can launch them against ships or land zones. And they can block sea lift movement as well. So we see we've got a Russian frigate here. We've got two subs here in the central Atlantic. So I'm going to move this one sub up here like this. Now we've got pretty much all sea lift movement blocked to Europe. Because it would have to go through these zones where Russian ships are. And second of all... These two guys can fire cruise missiles and try to take out... I really want to take out the Super Carrier or the LHD. Um, so I'm going to come over here to the Russian dashboard. I start with 15 cruise missiles. So I'm going to go like this and I'm going to use two of them. So two chips. Those are gone forever. So these two cruise missile markers that Doug includes in the game are going to represent these spent cruise missiles. So let's just put those chips aside. And now I'm going to bring these cruise missile markers over here. And those get fired into this C zone. And I'll resolve that attack later uh, during uh, the uh, combat resolution. So that's how that works. Now, over here is a somewhat speculative attack. Um, the Caliphate needs money. They need territory. And so they're going to attack the Eastern African states here. They will, they're a neutral, so they will align to the closest uh, Western Alliance power that they're located to, which would be the Pacific Coalition in yellow. So they have two infantry per the reference sheet. And so Caliphate's going to move these two infantry in here and bring this fighter down here like that and try to take out the, East, the uh, Eastern African states. They'll get $2 in income if they're able to take that out. Now up here, I have that marker on Israel. Uh, the Caliphate is going to fire one cruise missile from the air base in Central Caliphate into Israel and try to take out some Israeli units. I would, If I was playing a real game, I'd probably try to take out Israel in the first turn. With the Caliphate, I'd probably also try to take out Turkey. But in the interest of time here, I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to fire a cruise missile in there and try to try to pick off a, a high-value uh, Israeli unit. Now, Caliphate's going to do the same thing over here into India. They only start with four cruise missiles, so they've just fired half of their complement. And again, firing from this air base, one zone into India. And then over here uh, in the Pacific, we're going to have a combined attack. Actually, let me do that. Now let me do like this. So this Russian sub, I really want to take out this LHD because that can load up units and come over here and harass um, me and China as I try to take out Japan. So I really want to hit that LHD. So I've got a Chinese sub here, a Russian sub here, and look at this guy. Subs have special movement. Um, they can only be basically, they can move around stealthily on the board. So you see Pacific Coalition's got these two ships here. This is a frigate and a guided uh, missile destroyer. He can move in here and he can fire a missile into this zone trying to take this ship out. And there's nothing these guys can do about it. He doesn't even have to be in silent running like this guy is. You see this uh, U.S. attack submarine. He's in silent running, which means I can't attack him. But uh, anyway, so this guy, this guy, and this guy are all going to fire cruise missiles into this zone. Grab another Russian one. Make sure everybody's paying for their cruise missile attacks here. And that's three cruise missiles in trying to take out that LHD ultimately. And this demonstrates how subs can move in here and fire a missile from this sea zone even though Pacific Coalition has 
ships there. These subs are very stealthy. Okay. So um, let me pause it and then uh, get some other things set up and I'll show you what's next. Okay, so up here, I'm gonna try to invade Japan and take out Japan with China and Russia. So I have to take these ships out first. And one of the cool things about 2025 versus 36 is, and I'll show you, it's these fighters. So the Russians can move their ships in here like this. The Chinese can move their ships in because you got to take these guys out this pacific coalition subs in silent running so you can't touch him and you can't come off silent running until his phase so you got to take these two ships out first then we can land stuff except these two airborne can just go um they can move up to three from an airbase in an airborne assault so they're gonna go one two they just skip over and they're gonna hope um they're gonna hope that <laughs> They defeat these ships and land some stuff here. Otherwise, they're going to be hung out to dry. Um, if Pacific Coalition or the Western Allies had a carrier or an LHD here with a fighter on it, the Airborne couldn't move through. But they can. Um, so anyway, they're going to go there. Uh, this guy is going to come up here. He's going to pick up these two guys like this and wait for... The resolution of the battle uh, to see if he can drop them off in China. This attack helicopter will participate in trying to clear these guys out. These two fighters will also participate in trying to clear these two guys out. This fighter will also come in. And there's a fighter on North Korea. He will also come in. All right. Oh, there's also a fighter here. He'll come in as well. Now, these fighters can both, I believe, I'll have to double check, can take part in the combat here uh, against these ships. And then if they're successful, they can move on land and also help take out Japan in the land invasion as well. So, um, and hang on, one more thing. This attack helicopter here is range four. So helicopters can land in newly captured land zones, but... In order to participate in the combat, they have to have an eligible landing spot. So he could theoretically go one, two, three, but then he wouldn't have an eligible landing spot because this LHD can only hold one aircraft, and we already have one helicopter participating in the battle. So as far as I can tell, that helicopter cannot participate. And last but not least, let's bring this drone in. One, he'll take part in this combat in the sea zone. And then I'm not sure if he's eligible to go in or not. I'll have to check the rules on that. These ballistic missile submarines are being stealthy. They're not participating. All right. Uh, and then last but not least, before I move to the Russian combats, one more thing. It says that aircraft have to be on carriers or LHDs in order to move from the amphibious assault into the land attack. So I moved this super carrier in here. He had two um, fighters on it. That means two of these fighters will be eligible to go into the assault on Japan, which will be critical. And actually, you know what? I'm going to leave an infantry back there and take an LHD instead, since he attacks better in the land attack. All right, let's move to Russia. Okay, first I want to demonstrate surgical strikes. So in Balkan states, this fighter is going to come in and this sub is going to fire a cruise missile. Both of those are going to do surgical strikes on these units in the Balkan states. Okay. In Central Europe, okay, four main battle tanks, an attack helicopter, and again, just for purposes of demonstration, I probably wouldn't do this in real life. I'm definitely going to take the drone in. But I'll put all seven of those infantry in there like that. And then those main battle tanks can blitz if they win the combat, which they should. So then I'm going to blitz into Germany with those main battle tanks. Oh, actually, I'm going to take all these main battle tanks as well because they can blitz. Also... And then I'm going to take, I need to chip these guys out. But this attack helicopter is going to go into Germany. 
this drone's going to go into Germany. Uh, this attack helicopter is going to go one, two into Germany. This fighter is going to go one, two into Germany. And then I need some meat shields. So let me check those guys out. Sorry for the delay here. Pause it before I can get ready. Okay, so here's five chips to replace the red. And then I'm gonna take one, two, chip him out. They're gonna hop on the LHD and then they're gonna land in Germany and they're gonna hope that this succeeds and they can blitz in. Now, one more thing. In this game, Scrambling from air bases like this one in Paris can only be into adjacent sea zones. It cannot be into adjacent land zones. In order to scramble fighters into a land zone, you have to have a carrier. Okay. NATO has a carrier, but it's all the way out here. And I'm crushing the caliphate here. Carriers here can only scramble one zone into France. Okay, so it can't happen. Alright, so I'm going to start resolving these combats and show you how these play out. Cruise missiles making naval strikes resolve at their full attack value, which is three. So these two will be at three each. They have target select one, two. And I got a two and an 11. So that means that I not only hit, but I can target select. And I think I will take out, I think I will put a hit on the super carrier. So that's got one damage, and actually, you know what? I'm gonna use the damage markers that I have. Doug provides you these. You could just put that one damage on there. They take up to two, but I have these cool damage markers. So I'm gonna put that guy on there like that. And that is resolved. Okay, now let's do this one over here. Again, we've got three cruise missiles. And they are all at three or less. I got a three, a 10, and a 10. So that's not a target select. And that means that the um, US player can choose which casualty he's gonna take against his ships. He doesn't wanna lose his LHD. So he's gonna take his frigate, which is his lowest valued ship. All right. Okay, Caliphate, pinprick attack into India, three or less. Oh, that's a two. So, um, he's going to take out an MBT with that attack. So, get rid of that. Same thing in Israel. Three or less. That's a miss. So, we will get rid of that. Okay, let's move this to the battle board. Here's a defender at four or less, two attackers at two or less, and a fighter with target select one, which won't really matter in this case. So, roll for infantry first, two at two, nothing, and then the fighter at six, that's a hit. All right, Pacific Coalition will roll back two at four or less. There's one hit. All right, so Caliphate loses one. Pacific Coalition loses one. The Caliphate will press on. Infantry at two or less. Misses. Fighter at six or less. That's a hit. And then four or less, big roll. That's a miss for the um, Pacific Coalition. So the Caliphate will take African states. Uh, this fighter will go back and uh, he will land in the Eastern Caliphate like that. And uh, Caliphate will go up two more. 
to 19, and Pacific Coalition doesn't go down because that was a neutral attack. All right, let's roll this big one here. Um, first, we have to clear out the uh, guided missile destroyer and the frigate, and uh, we've got five fighters, so I'm going to go ahead and roll those five fighters, and uh, they all attack at eight, so, and there's easily, actually, I rolled five hits, look at this, five at eight or less, there's two hits, so the guided missile cruiser, or destroyer, sorry, will roll back at eight or less, and he doesn't have any target select or anything, that's a hit, and then the uh, frigate will roll back at four and he gets a hit but not a target select so that's two hits so uh, we'll take the Russian frigate as a hit and I think we will take the uh, Take the attack helicopter as a hit also. So these guys are gone. This guy stays here, doesn't do anything. He is no impediment to anyone's movement because he's in silent running. So now the these two guys come ashore like this. And then I can put I can bring two fighters in also. Since they were on the supercarrier. They can also come into the combat like that. And now we're going to have the battle for Japan, which I think I'll move to the battle board. Now here's the thing. An entire amphibious assault is limited to three rounds of combat. That includes clearing out the ships beforehand. So China only has two rounds to do this combat. And if it doesn't have it done after two rounds, they have to retreat. Okay. Here we've got China that has, um, they have the next generation fighters. So they now attack at eight. Main battle tank at one, two airborne at two, and an infantry at two. So let me roll the infantry first at two or less. They all miss. Main battle tank at six. That's a hit. Two next-gen fighters at eight, and that's two more hits, and that does it. So these two guys will move back, and they get three at four or less in response and there's one hit so china will lose the regular infantry and no he will lose an airborne because he doesn't defend very well like that let's come back over here let's put that over so China just went up five, and Pacific Coalition just went down five. So, these two fighters will land on here, like that. Now, that's technically non-combat movement, but uh, yeah, let me put China up five and Pacific Coalition down five. China is now the most income in the game of anyone. Okay, there we go. And now we got to do these battles up here. So let's do the surgical strike first. And let me show you how that works. Cruise missile surgical strike. Um, first of all, there's no response. There's no fighters here. Uh, there's no ability to scramble a fighter in as far as I can see. Um, so cruise missiles will shoot at three, and then fighters, surgical strike at half of their combat value. So six divided by half, or half of six is three. So, and the cruise missile has target select, so I'll roll it separate. So the cruise missile gets a three, that's not a target select. And the fighter gets a three also. So NATO will have to lose both of these infantry. And there's nothing they can do about it. And that shows you the power of surgical strikes in this game. And that you want to try to get 
your ground units with fighter protection if you can. So this guy will go back here like that. Okay, so in the interest of time, I'm just going to concede this combat. Um, we've got like seven next-gen or MBTs, seven infantry, and an attack helicopter. So I'm just going to roll those three at three or less, or four or less, and see if they can get any hits. They actually get two hits. So the Russians will lose two of those infantry. So I chip those out. They lose two. NATO loses all three. Russia takes Eastern Europe. Russia's now at 27. NATO's now at 34. And then, my favorite part. So listen to this about MBTs. After a battle, a main battle tank with both a remaining movement point, so they have two, and they've all moved one, so they have a main remaining movement point and additional rounds of combat. So that only took one round. Uh, they may move into an adjacent enemy land zone. If enemy units are present, combat occurs. New combat counts against the total round limit of three rounds. I, there's a three round limit in general in combat in this game. They both have a movement point remaining and they've only participated in one round of combat. So they can all blitz into Germany like that. Okay, and um, I'm going to show you how drones work in this particular battle. This is a big battle. I'm going to set it up on the battle board and uh, show you how it works, and then that'll be it. Okay, here's the battle for Germany. See, we have drones in this battle. This fighter for um, Russia is going to use a drone, and this next uh, main battle tank for uh, NATO is going to use a drone. In drones, you roll two dice, and you take your best result. So I picked the main battle tank here because he has target select, and which means that he wants to try to take out uh, main battle tanks for Russia. Um, so he's hoping to get good rolls. And uh, I just picked the fighter here because, I mean, I could pick any of them. But uh, anyway, I just decided to pick the fighter in that case. So uh, let's go ahead and roll this out. So Russia has, there's no first strike units. So Russia has two infantry at two. No hits. Two attack helicopters at four. One hit. Take the U.S. unit as the casualty there. Seven. Seven. Seven main battle tanks at six or less. And one, two. Only two hits. That's not that great. So we'll go and take two infantry. And then the fighter, I'm going to roll two dice, and I'm going to pick my best result because I have the drone. And I rolled a 10 and a 5, so I'll take the 5, so that's another hit. All right. So I didn't take him out in, uh, in uh, the first round of combat. So four infantry defending for the Western Allies, and there's two hits. So these two guys will be gone. We'll go ahead and clear them out. Now I'll roll for the NATO fighter. He gets a four, or a six or less, sorry. That's a miss, big miss. And their main battle tank gets to roll with the drone. He gets to roll two. He rolled a hit and a miss, so he'll take his hit. And uh, that means we'll lose an attack helicopter as the Russians. All right. Now, if you lose a unit with the drone, you can reassign it to a different unit. That, we, that didn't happen, but I just wanted to point that out as a matter of the rules. So, uh, this is the last round of combat that these uh, main battle tanks can uh, can participate in, because this is their third round of combat this turn. Should be able to get it done, though. Attack helicopter at four. That's a miss. You got seven main battle tanks at six. And there's the two hits I needed. All right. So my next gen MBT, or my, I'm sorry, guys. That in, in 85, we have MBTs and next gen MBTs, and the next gens look kind of like this. So it's going to be a perpetual thing for me. I'm sorry. 
The main battle tank with the drone gets two dice at six or less. He has a three and a nine. He'll take his three. And we'll take the attack helicopter. And then the fighters at six. That's a miss. So, Germany has been conquered by the Russians. And we put all the Russian stuff in here. Those guys will have to go back later. That is a victory city or a victory territory. And Japan is a victory territory. So that means, based on my count, that the Eastern Pact is at plus two and the Western Allies are at minus two. Just from what you've seen here in this particular demonstration. All right. Um, yeah, so that is it for combat. So now we move on to strategic movement.